Let's do it. Beginning again. Closer? Yeah. I think the opposite. The opposite? Yeah. I think you need more that than he. Okay. Mm. I, I understand your reaction. You, you, you're trying not to do it. Now it, it's a little, uh, yeah? It should not sound like an old person like me. Concentrate on the note you go from okay. more than the note you have to go to when you have a jump. This, this is very important, I think, to, to know how not to use the muscles to reach T. Yeah, because it's like the muscles, they they d have no uh, instinct. There are no, there is no instinct in the muscles. The instinct comes from how I know which interval it is that I'm going to play and how I hear that in my ears before I play. Play, play again. Try to think like that. <laughs> that I know also, uh, uh, who uh, uh, they show some, something so uh, open 
open and out and really communicating. And then suddenly there comes a feeling of doubt. Sing so loud. Yeah? And that, that is exactly yeah. how he writes it. Yeah. I mean, it's not an, my interpretation, it's exactly what he says there. Mm. You know, to, to try to avoid to jump with the same finger over strings, especially when we have to play the chords. Yes, well, I mean, I'm not here to change fingers yeah. and bones and so on, but just, it's just a small little mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah? To the bow? To the bow?
concentrate a little more or anticipate a little more what kind of uh, expression you're mm -hmm. going to use, you see? Because here, dum da dum dum da dum da dum 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 the whole footy here in the orchestra. It's so full of life and so on. And now you come in and you say, no. It changes the whole time. saying that it should be loud or so, of course it should be so, but mm, you're the soloist, you're leading.
So you need to know how to play the first one so it doesn't sound like the second one, yeah. because that otherwise there is no development. Mm -hmm. special word uh, in Elgar's music. I don't know one piece that I have played or conducted actually by Elgar where there is not a place where he puts nobilmente. Mm -hmm. So it's something noble, mm -hmm. yeah? Very simple, actually. But he 
express it. You, you misunderstand me. I understand that it's not easy to understand. But uh, you need wah, 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 freedom with the bow. millimeters and, and so on, and centimeters here. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's how strongly I hear the interval in my, uh, before I play it. Mm. Mm. It's really all it's about. And of course, it's about technique, how I use the technique, not to go back and forth and so on. Mm. same vibrato on each note, of course, but there is some kind, of, some kind of basic vibrato here, I think, that we need to look for, you see. Mm -hmm. What makes me, what do you think makes me ask that question to you? What do you do? That it's not so convincing. It's a little fast. It's a little too tight. Yeah, it's too yeah. tight. <laughs> yeah. 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 This, this one we practice uh, a concerto, how important it is to, to understand how it's not only how loud we play that makes uh, our sound really uh, uh, get to the last row in the, in the hall. Mm -hmm. yeah? it, it is so much with how we shape, how we ex use vibrato when we play romantic mm -hmm. concerto like this. 
We don't need to think about that when we play hiding concertos, for example. No, because when, when we play in a hiding concerto, the orchestra is playing boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there are no uh, uh, challenging voicing or, or so. In this music, absolutely, like in Dvorak, a lot in Dvorak. so open eh, as this eh. so you need to do something extra of cellists in the world use supporting figures, yeah. I think. I don't know why. Yeah. No? 
Is yeah. it the demand already? No, there's the, yeah. there's the demand on the first yeah. one. Yeah, the exactly. second one. By the end of the bar. It's yeah. so against what we expect. Yeah. We expect. Yeah. 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 It's difficult to yeah. do that. I mean, I know intu intuitively I do the crescendo leading to the next bar. And yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It's, <laughs> the, it's a normal way for us to, to think with uh, these two eighth notes, of course, that it goes. But actually, he does the other way. And it makes it so. Sad. writes diminuendo and piano and pianissimo that it means uh, relaxed it doesn't mean relaxed it means op almost the opposite mode mm -hmm. yeah.
How do you say your first name? articulation is important see not that not, not to make it uh, flat yeah but talking a lot of talking Somebody yesterday, or 
also w would be to uh, uh, try to uh, visualize how you would write it. Yeah? It's not between there and there and there and there, but it, uh, 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 it's a pattern of bow strokes. Yeah? Good, good, good. Once more. And that P part of B, yeah, that gives the uh, initiative to what is coming. sing a lot, yeah? But it's very important to do this in this music. To give it life. It's there is a singing life, but then comes the change. Mm -hmm. Once more. First one should be a little more also. Then we start to go again.
calculations of the value. No, I'm singing the wrong thing now. Will you start again? So it's not ee, yum, pum, pum, so you don't connect it. doesn't help us. on the top note, but the, the, the three notes that follow should not sound the same. It's like the dynamic wise, we don't need to go between there and there in this music. It's more there, but very clear differences in, in this small uh, range. So it's not 
not too much like uh, uh, connecting that bass note with the figure. <laughs> Just to to start on the bow, not at the frog, you see, not here. But because then, then the the bow has more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 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 that was too far out. styles of music. I can't use a, I can't use a vibrato like that in this music, yeah. But uh, about the, uh, which uh, areas of the bow we use. It, I, I try to avoid as much as possible to use this and to use this mm -hmm. in, in this music. Because it's like uh, uh, to use uh, the bow where, the, as I said before, where the bow has more flexibility, where it reacts much quicker. Because if I use, uh, I really have to try to do it 
and the bow doesn't help me. And here I have to do it also. The bow doesn't help. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like we give it to the orchestra. Yeah. Okay, let's go on.
take us per fun, you see. Tatatera, 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 no, no, bombo, bombo, don't sing it. then you don't need so much bow. If I play here, I need much more bow.
should always be clearly enough uh, articulated, I think. Mm. Try to feel yeah. relaxed. Mm -hmm. And if I would ask you something crazy, to feel a little less relaxed when you play. Let's see. You understand? You understand my point? Yeah. Because of course I would never ask anybody to feel tense. Mm. Yeah, one should not feel tense. But it's something with uh, uh, how clearly I feel my contact with the finger on the string. Mm. It's how I feel the contact. I should not feel pressure, of course. But it's like it decides so many things for the vibrato. Because if I try to feel uh, to feel as relaxed as possible, it's like there is no real center in the note. You see, I see, I see many times. Uh, most of the time, I, I I would not comment on your angle with the hand on the string. But when you play that note, for example, you have a tendency of going that way. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be better to keep it a little, this angle, mm -hmm. a little more this. Because then it's easier to feel how I make the vibrato from the note. And it goes from the note, and like that, instead of going round the note. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Expression. Mm -hmm. 
the arm knows where to go. Yes, and, and I would, I would uh, prepare, the only preparation I do here is that my uh, second finger is above the D string. Mm -hmm. So it's not there. E that makes it more complicated.
Okay, begin. Louder, like okay. this, just the, the decision. Of mm. course, it should not be, okay. should not be louder. But uh, play with oh, the feeling that you play it with an open sound. that it was a big difference uh, when it comes to the dynamic level, how yeah. you played it before and how you played it now. Mm -hmm. But it was more involvement. Mm -hmm. I had, uh, it, that was the feeling that, uh, because you, you have wonderful musicality and uh, for shaping and so on, but it was like, you, my feeling was that you, you started something and you really went through the different layers of uh, going there and going there and going more inside and so uh, this is a little what I was missing first, you see. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do again. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's just to react to what happens in the piano, to react to the harmonic changes and the mm -hmm.
like this actually when I play music, but in Schumann it is something that is all the time there. The, it, it's like be in an interval, yeah? In different intervals. I'm not saying only one kind of interval, but between one note and another note there is something like a chewing gum, you know. That's a very normal way of using the technique. But it's so full of it, the, the, that first fantastic movement. That, mm -hmm. Here, somewhere. a lot of variation, I would say. Mm -hmm. The mixture of speed and amplitude. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. Same, same place. Yeah.
be the same vibrato of each note because you have a longer note, you have a shorter note, you have a note which is uh, like an appoggiatura note or you have a, a note with a dot on it and always something happens in, in the dotted longer note mm -hmm. yeah, and, and so on. So mm, just to be clear yeah. <laughs> that I don't mean either or. Yeah. Yeah. here in these intervals, in these harmonies. And mm -hmm. uh, this adagio is one of the richest <laughs> pieces of music that I know, actually. By, by the end of it, before the Allegro, for example, it's th this har harmonies in the piano, yeah, when we play long notes, it like, makes me cry almost. Yeah? And it, it's uh, very important. I think to uh, really look into this, not not only to say, ah yes, it's an it's an adagio, it's a beautiful uh, slow movement by Schumann, and so on. No, it's much more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. for me, you know, in music history books and, and, and so on, they, they talk about his, uh, how, what problems, psychological problems he had and so on. I would never talk about that, actually, with Schumann. <laughs> I think it's one of the richest uh, expressions that there are in so many pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's important to like uh, look for this, what is inside mm -hmm. the music. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not to uh, what's the word? Uh, it's not to invent uh, something from our side. No, it is in there already mm -hmm. and it, to discover it.
Like you have a soprano, you have a, a I don't know, a tenor maybe, and a baritone and a bass.
what you do mm -hmm. and uh, how you feel it. It's, it's very good. A little too loud, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's a long way to yeah. to go here. Yeah, with different layers. Mm -hmm. sounds on the French horn. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've heard it in yeah. French horn, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
never <laughs> tell you what to do with timing. You, you have to get to feel it.
slower tempo. It doesn't need to be much slower, but a little slower. Yeah. 
don't need to fight for sound at all, mm. actually. You can play it really with a lot of lightness because the orchestra is just playing boom, 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 while yeah. we play. Yeah? Yeah. There's no second voices or, or so. Mm. It's not too that we are not too far away from the bridge because then of course yeah, we have to use much yeah. more bow. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like the uh, technique here, the reactions in the wrist, in the fingers, uh, in the bow for the bow, for the sake of the bow, changes the whole time here. Yeah. Mm. It does with everything we play, it, uh, it always changes. But here it's like, oh, mm, 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 like crazy pantomime. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You, you see, if if the arm is a little more higher, yeah, a little higher. Mm -hmm. Don't need don't need muscles. Well, for for the change of position, don't use muscles. I say that, of course, uh, uh, because it feels like being really, 
in order to get to the right position. But actually, I don't need that. I need to be clear in my fingers. But it's more this. singing the whole yeah. time, yeah, we want to hear all, 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 but of course here it's not, a, it's not singing, yeah. it's ah, articulation. <laughs> here would be how 
you react with the vibrato also. Yeah. From this. Uh,
from the arm as possible. Of course, I mean, we have to <laughs> use muscles to change from position to position, but not to do it like this, and then it stays yeah. with tension, you see. It's bum, 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 whether it's going up or down. Thank you. 
this is draw, this is draw, draw. Without the bow. See, I, I think you let the arm hang a little too much. If, if, if you would like put it on a level, you, you yeah. know, if you uh, think about the tennis player, yeah, you cannot play like this with, with the elbow. Need, needs to have a certain unity here in both arms, I would say. Tutti in between. Yeah. Here is a little dom, pam, pam. So it has to have a little more uh, yeah. presence. here you need to uh, start uh, here at the frog you see mm. for the clarity
beat. Yeah. This la up there, and then that's the beginning of another line. Thank you. Okay. Bye.